Hi everyone, the world's top curlers arrived for their first day of practice this afternoon ahead of the 2012 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, which opens tomorrow at the NMAX Center. With a preview of what lies ahead, here's Daryl Rummelt. First on the practice sheet on Friday were perhaps those countries who feel they have the most to prove. After failing to qualify for the Worlds for the past two years, Deanna Gaspari's foursome is back. Gaspari skipped for Italy at the 2006 Olympics, but the country has a little to cheer about in the years since. We want to start over again and try to qualify for the Olympics like a new road with a new team. Uh, so let's see what we are able to do. On the next sheet are the Danes. Denmark is appearing in just their second world championships, hoping to gain Olympic qualifying points and upset some powerhouse countries in the process. And uh, last year we did it pretty well, I think. We went as number four, so... We want to go top six this year. Perhaps the most important throws of the first session were on Germany's sheet. A little over a week ago, their skip Andrea Schopp broke her leg. They'll now be skipped by Canadian Melanie Robar, who's arrived in Canada on little rest. The Swedes are among the early tournament favorites. They, like most teams, are excited to get the tournament underway and excited that it's in Canada. If everybody knows what curling is and people come up to you on the street and talk about curling and... Uh, a lot of people in the stands and we don't have that at home. Um, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's uh, a whole new experience playing here, so it's going to be great. The local curling clubs are hoping to capture some of that excitement and attract new curlers to the sport locally. Uh, just the exposure we're going to get from you guys, the media, and from people that come down to the NMAX to watch our sport. Uh, the benefits are going to be with us for years to come, so it's really exciting. This will be the 12th time that Canada has hosted the World Women's Curling Championships. The last time it was in Alberta was in 2006 in Grand Prairie. Now, since 1979, Canada has won a leading 15 gold medals at the event, and Alberta's Heather Nedwin is hoping... She can end a four-tournament gold medal drought. Daryl Rummel, CTV Sports, Lethbridge. Thanks, Rummy. Draws get underway tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock at the NMAX. Canada faces the USA on Sheet B at 7 o'clock. Now the nation's best uh, college basketball teams are in town for the CCAA Women's National Basketball Championships at Lethbridge College. Let's see how the hosts did in their opening round matchup last night. The number two seed, Dawson College Blues, taking on the Lethbridge Kodiaks and head coach Avery Harrison's ninth trip to Nationals, hoping for an upset in game number one. A rough start for the Kodiaks. The Blues go on an eight-point run to start the game. But Lisa Ivanix gets the Kodiaks on the board, drive the lane, Gets the screen and is in for the easy lay-in. The big story on this night for Lethbridge, missed opportunities. The Kodiak shot under 40% in the first half, under 50% for the entire game. Add to that turnovers like this, compounding their problems. Lindsay Pearson stripped by Rochelle Gregoire. She's all alone. That's an easy two points. Blues extend their lead to 11. Moments later, Pearson made up for that. She beat two defenders, caught another two looking at her and hit the layup. That seemed to light a fire under Lethbridge for a while. Ivanix spun and hit the turnaround jumper for the deuce. But the Blues had an answer all night long. Esther Ramicieri hit for three, then Janice Quintos dialed up long distance. That put the Blues up by 20. The Dawson College Blues pull away, never looking back. They cruise to an easy 84-64 win over the Kodiaks. No, it, it was huge. We needed to make smarter plays in it. Our, when we shot it, shots just didn't drop and we didn't use the shot clock wisely either. It was tough. I mean, right from the start, stuff just wasn't flowing for us. We, we prepared and everything and, I don't know, our, just, our plays wouldn't go and our shots wouldn't fall. Just, we didn't come off strong and they shot really well in the first half. They shot 59%, I believe. So it, our defense lagged for sure. We didn't get out on shots that we should have got out on. It's a long road now to the bronze medal for the Kodiaks. They were on the court this afternoon with UNBC. And for full tournament updates, visit CCAA Women's Basketball 2012.ca. Left mature Canes are up in Red Deer tonight, hoping to finish off the year on a positive note. The Canes are coming off a 5-2 win over the Calgary Hitmen on Wednesday. The game may mean nothing to the standings as both teams have been eliminated from postseason contention. Game time tonight is 7.30 at the NMAX building in Red Deer. The Canes will play their final game of the year tomorrow in Medicine. Now the Tigers take on Edmonton tonight and Kootenay hosts Calgary.